So this is my old PC, which has only two gigabytes RAM and no graphics card. But still you can see that Free Fire is running at a very optimal FPS without any lag. And yes, you can also play this smoothly. Just watch the full video and don't miss any steps. Otherwise, you'll end up posting comments like this. So let's get started. First, let's talk about file downloading as this is the biggest issue my subscribers face. That's why I'll walk you through the complete process of downloading a file. To begin, you need to go to the About section of my channel, where you'll find the link to my website. Just click on it to open the site. Now, if you're watching this video a long time after its release, you might need to search for the file manually. Otherwise, you'll find the post right at the top. For example, I'll click on this post and scroll down to the bottom. Here, you'll find the download link for the file. If you already have Disk Genius installed on your system, you can skip this part. However, since many of my subscribers struggle with the installation process, I'll guide you through it step by step. First, extract the Disk Genius zip file. Once extracted, you'll see a folder which you need to open and then launch the setup file. From here, install it just like you install other software. Once the installation is complete, navigate to the extracted folder, where you'll find two subfolders, one for 32-bit systems and the other for 64-bit systems. Select the file that matches your PC's architecture. Next, copy all the files from this folder and paste them into the Disk Genius main directory. And that's it. Your Disk Genius installation is now complete. After installing it, the next step is to extract the ISO file. Since this file is around 2 gigabytes in size, so the extraction process might take some time. Once the extraction is complete, open Disk Genius. Next, choose a partition with at least 10 gigabytes of free space and ensure that it doesn't contain any data. Then, right-click on the selected partition and choose the format option. Select EXT4 as the partition system, leave the volume label blank, and click on the Format button to begin the formatting process. Since my partition is already formatted, I won't format it again. Once the formatting is complete, open the same partition and create a new folder with the similar name, and if you do any spelling mistake, it may not work. After that, create another folder and name it Data. Now you need to go back to the Extracted folder, and from here select the same files that I'm selecting right now, then paste them into Disk Genius. After this, you simply need to install Grub, and you must follow exactly the same steps that I'm following. One more thing, you don't need to create any entry here, and you don't need to open it either, because all the Grub code and related files are already installed so there's no need to install anything again. With this, our setup is now complete. I will now restart my PC and record the rest of the process using a hand cam. As soon as the PC restarts, you need to select Grub from the boot menu. If you want, you can also launch Windows from here, but for now, I'll select Grub. After that, choose the first entry and then wait for a few moments. Next you will see multiple kernel variants. Keep in mind that when booting for the first time, you should select the first kernel. In future boots, you can change the kernel if needed, especially if you face issues like Wi-Fi connectivity or other problems. Once selected, the OS will start booting, and after the booting process is complete, the Android setup page will appear. Now, just like you set up your phone, you need to follow the same steps to complete the Android OS setup on your PC. So here, Phoenix OS has been installed, and now without wasting any time, I'll install Free Fire and show you the direct gameplay. As you can see, Free Fire is now installed, and I'm about to launch it. But before that, we need to open Octopus Key Mapper. After that, select Free Fire from the list, then simply click the Launch button. After that, log in using your Facebook or Google account. For now, I'll choose the guest account. Once you're logged in, turn off all background downloads like this. Then go into Graphics Settings and set all options to low. Next comes Key Mapping. For that, you'll see a logo at the top. Click on it and select the Keyboard option. After this, you can adjust the key mapping according to your preference. I'll just set it up quickly. So, I've assigned all the key mappings and now I'll start the match. As you can see, the match has started, and I'm getting around 30 plus FPS. 
which is more than enough to play Free Fire smoothly. I've even played it continuously for two to three hours, and I didn't experience any lag at all. On top of that, the key mapping works perfectly, so overall, this OS is really good and definitely worth trying. However, if this doesn't work for you, or you're facing lag or any other issues, then the video on the left is for you. In that video, I've run Free Fire without using any emulator or OS. So click on that video and yes, I'll see you there. Bye.